Okay. So we got Wisdom versus Winkums. Oh, they got the stream. They set it up for me and everything. Yeah. I need a co-commentator and I need one now. Uh, in the meantime, some history between these two. What I've heard is these guys have had a lot of really close sets. They tend to be in um, Dawn's favor, but they're always close. I'm honestly, I like both these characters, these be told. I feel like this matchup, Thames can be super slippery in this matchup, and Bowser, it's almost like, the way I like to put it is Bowser is like a big fly slaughter, and Samus is the fly. Um, where it just kind of gets in your face and annoys you, well Bowser is just a big hit block that exists. Um, with that in mind, Samus does have big hit boxes of her own. Here I am joined with Mr. Scott Graves. In the flash. Hello. Who the fuck? <laughs> I'm laughing because Josh said, who the fuck is on his mic? And then he's sitting across from me, <laughs> talking to me in chat. Boinkum's playing tonight. Boinkum's up, dude. Boinkum's stock's on the rise. So I told Boinkum today, he actually didn't know, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, so Bowser's side beat, the further he falls, the more damage he is. So you have to be stuck on you. No way. So Boinkum didn't know that. Which is honestly play a character long enough to start learning stuff about. Yeah, it'd be like if you didn't know you could put your fan in front of you without being crazy to shot and close. Moikums loves the um forward smashes above the rest of the stage. I'm not sure if they're the best idea, but they work for him. If there's anything characteristic for Moikum to play, it is that wow. If there's anything characteristic for my play about, it's that up. Yeah. I hear Drift Kyogre. I am Drift Kyogre in the flash. Drift is right off the ground. Yeah, no, I was... Uh, not the girly, but I watched this set with you. And he was just making, like, all, all the right decisions in neutral. He was just, like, anticipating. That's where he came And Bowser's kind of one of those characters, too, just because... He's one of those characters where if you're not careful, you can, he can get cornered, and he basically does have a right off the um, but you just, like, this is a scary dude. I know. Yeah, he's starting to slow down a little bit. Perhaps he knows he's close to the kill. And there it is. Game one going to Dom. But this is kind of characteristic of how these two, these two, their games go. It seems to be, at least, you can tell me if you disagree, but it seems to be, um... Whoever wins, like, um, like, you know, they're close games, but it trends to be dominant. Gotcha. Yeah. I've never watched this play before. Uh, Honestly, it's hard to say because Bowser's just like a big existing threat model at all times. This is going to be an interesting match because, like, like the one of Bowser's four game time is big and 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 you know, you up the other shoes. But, against Luigi, you, you don't really have the liberty of doing that. Uh, but, the thing that Bowser does have in this matchup is a tough guy's fire. Just by existing. Yeah, it's really big. Um, but it creates these weird situations where Bowser's not really shielding. And it's uncomfortable for the Bowser fire. Because it's a lot more sweet, as, as you can see. Like more hitboxes, more moving around, which I'm all for. It's better to watch. And he got the two frame with the four there. I don't think he needed to continue there. I think I don't think Dom would go. A little bit of a yeah. Part. And now Dom has the initiative. He has Bowser closer to the edge, and he's chasing down a bit. Luigi surprisingly good at edge guarding. Like, Luigi Advantage State is one of the best in the game. Like, people chalk him up to, like, just his touch and death combo, but, like, even, like, him just swinging in advantage. I don't think he can get the death. 
Yeah. I wonder if any Estad was involved. Oh, when it comes he's trying to do these fire bashes, so a little too close. Stop. You have to, you know, you can have a blackboard, so we'll be out there. Yeah. So that's what we were talking about all there, where... I don't know, I don't feel like, like... I feel like he just gets free pressure if you're on top of Because what do you do out of shield with off top? Like, you... Oh, that's really awkward. Tom going for a different spec. Maybe he wasn't sure. Okay, the double jab. The dubby jabby. He's needing in these big hitboxes when you just don't expect Bowser to be throwing you. Oh, you're at a two. He definitely had the read. You see, this game is even. It's kind of the awkward part, right? Oh, I like what he did there, where he used the fire breath to interrupt. He's having a kill. Barely. We got six viewers. Oh, that's right. Fellas turning up for Winkums versus. Wisdom. I think that's his tag. He just got here from the back. Yeah, I think we should update this to back to down here too. Yeah. There we go. I don't think it's going to try and do it. I think it's going to Up to it's stupid. That will be in my vocab. I know that he is, but it's not in my vocab. It's not something I can offer. Okay, I, I've never heard that. <laughs> English buddy. I don't like that. I don't love that. Rikum's disadvantage state is holding whatever side he's going to the defendant stage and praying. But besides that, you know, overall it's all good. And I love that he job knowing that Dome is negative there. It goes to show that you can't throw a hitbox who's just for throwing a hitbox out. Ooh! I'm trying to say something nice. If his frame data was a little better, it's fair. I like the weight there. Uh, what? We're just trying to cut the point. Point to Drew. Well, can he use the downer that he had his head above the top platform? He's got some work to do. Oh no. That's, that's super tough. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Good parry. Up air, how does he continue? I honestly thought he might have been negative. I like the frame trap with the two fairies. Not something I would have thought of. Oh, and I like that from Dom, just trying to keep him shield there, going for the grab there. Almost had it. Okay. Oh, great enough. Okay, huge. Dom's got a great initiative here, and I don't know, maybe the eye could have seen it. It's a 2-0, 2 one Yeah. 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 But yeah, those seconds could have gone either way. It is, it, that's funny, because that was Dom's counter. He chose to take him to or to Battlefield versus Bowser. We'll see, he decides he wants to stick on the bounty there. And... Are you gonna just see the same stuff that we saw last game? The big difference is Dome doesn't have a top button. The pressure with the floor dares, or the up and Oh! Wow! What the hell? Oh. 
Oh, I don't like that down there. there. I'm getting a little swingy at this event. But as Bowser, like, what do you do? Especially for Samus, because Samus is just good in every position that he's going to do. Dom is passing every aerial thing. And that's what we're talking about. The Oinkums. If there's anything, I was saying, if there's anything characteristic of Oinkums play, it's that forward smash right above the left side. It's like in Star Wars, when you get the walk, like in the movies, when they walk in on like the ship in front of them, he, he has that. Like when you see somebody above the ledge there, it's like, there's a target, it walks in on them, and he's a fucking ballistic missile incoming. Oh, oh man. Oh, even I think Dom had the word. I, I don't think he was going to do Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's there. And Dom is creating so much space for himself. The roll. Just resets, catches the plot hook, and honestly, just given like how really these characters die respectfully to each other, we're at the point where the only thing that really matters in this matchup now is stage control. Now we're at the point where anything is fun. That was a really good string from Dom. Okay. Oh, seven to seven. Oh, no. And that side beat. I like the idea there. It doesn't quite kill. Samus, we think of Bowser as a heavy. We think of Ridley as a heavy. Don't think of Samus as a heavy. She's heavier than Ridley. Oh, I looked away. I heard Grady talking and the seventh over. I think he hit him with the back. Oh, That's real wisdom. And I just played. 